Okay, so I'm starting the LTN conversion. <clears throat> Done two, two small steps so far. First thing is I've put in a bunch of fuel stops. Uh, four fuel stop one stations that have some parking and two fuel stop three stations that have some parking and this is total overkill for now. It will need to be increased later of course. The other thing I did was I expanded my grid because I think I'm going to need to have for instance in, in one square I will produce an item and then I'll need an LTN station here that has um, the two depots. One depot to send trains up to get the stuff and the other depot to store those, to, to grab those trains and send them south. And I need to work out exactly how to do this because it's going to be uh, empty trains going north on this and picking up stuff and coming south and becoming full trains and going south, you know, going south to drop stuff off. So up, yeah, it, it's going to be weird. Um, Maybe coming up here, we will we will go into one one set of, of depots heading north and one set yeah I've got one set of depots heading north containing empty trains and one set heading south and containing not empty trains but full trains. But that means that here is a depot for low density structures and here's the actual LDS. I copied it up and I'm going to copy the rest of these up and then start putting in the LDS stations in the uh, beacon. <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, depot stations in between. And I, I'm thinking of just doing a paused, you know, so do a little work and come back and pause and, and show it off and do a little more work and so on. This is going to be a lot of hours. And a side note, since I now have the fuel stations, as I move things, I do not need to include the fueling for the trains. That will happen for me. Yay! Okay, the LDSs have been relocated. Our production rates have leveled off and our consumption looks normal. So we have successfully transferred to using the new stations and now we're going to need to set up the uh, the LTN stuff. <clears throat> now, for most things, I will be able to fit the LTN in one area. In this case, I have two available to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So from south to north, we will have empty trains. So this is the empty train station. So for empty train depots, what I'm going to do is just figure out how long I can go here and see how many trains I can stack up behind each of the each of the uh, actual stations. So for here, need that. I'm going to resignal this shortly. Uh, until then, let's just put in just past the center of the these guys. And same thing coming south.
for now we just need good enough signaling that we can continue to move trains. Now these guys are going to hold here until they can move out. So I need suppliers and requesters. Now I'm going to go ahead and just let this get made. We're actually already set up for this. This is going to be weird enough that I'm, I'm not going to demand that I go back to the main base to figure this out. Um, goodness, I never, I haven't researched it yet. There we go. So now I can build them. I need the trains requester and supplier train stops. Uh, I will need I will need train requesters. I don't actually need train configuration readers for what I'm doing. That's for when you start getting to where you you know you want trains of different sizes rolling into a single station. I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> So this is a supply chain station. I am supplying empty trains. That's odd. Uh, okay, so they're... Uh, yes, that's correct. are going to be LDS empty. And we're going to have several of those. So the LDS trains are one fours, two, three, four, five, there. one down is let's see engine one two three four here engine one two three four and here so we have enough parking for one, two, three trains on this guy. And I'm thinking maybe I want to move this down one. Yes. Maybe I can move this up one. See those adjacent? So I can flow from one to the next, just barely. Now this whole thing is up. What I try to do is minimize the amount I lap over onto a curve. Okay, so 
that's as far up as that can go, and that's as far up as that can go. That's good. That's good. And this one... One, two, three, four, right there. So that still puts me back here. That's fine. And just for fun, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. Well, for starters, how many trains do I have that use these? I've got six trains. So let's build three depots for empty trains going north. And I'm going to build another three depots going south. And I believe this is symmetric. And if so, I can be able, to, I should be able to just do that. In theory, this can go higher. has to go higher. Okay, so they're symmetric, but they're skewed a little bit. I think that's correct. Yes. And that should exactly fit at the bottom. And it does. Now these guys... We'll call those ready. So trains will come to these stations when they have materials. So now we need to replace the existing trains. Now I can kill those off. This is coming up. So we don't go in until there's a place for us to go. Um, Given that these can only allow three trains, that's one, two, three. None after that should be attempting to go up there. So now we need to replace our LDS trains. And the way I'm going to do that is capture them when they're empty. the way I'm going to capture them there empty is to make a dummy station of that name <laughs> yeah uh... so this will be where I send trains to get decompressed uh, to get uh, decommissioned It will have the same name as these guys.
So anybody wanting that will come here. And now I can make this what I really want it to be, which is this is now a requester station. He will be requesting empty trains. And you can only have one requester station with each name. So when I put it down, it said, oh no, I have two of the same name. So now if I look at my train station list, this is going to start getting even larger. We now have that 01 and that 02. This guy is, um, this guy is where people go to die. So, we want to request a train when all of these, all four of these guys have enough. So let's define enough as um, 100, 200, three. so if each of these have 400, we're going to have, uh, where to go? So I'm going to put it down here. And so basically what I'm going to say is if everything is less than 400, then output a red. And if any of these show up as red, I do not want a train showing up. So now we're going to follow best practices and put in one of these and one of those. So if red is equal to zero, then output P equals one. And actually what I really want to do is I do want to have the ability to request multiple trains. Which means I need to know how many cars are in each one and take a minimum. Oh, how do I do min? Do, can these do a min? What operations do they have? Uh, now let's just do this. There, there should be a way for me to say I have enough here to fill two trains, so request two trains in. Um, I'm going to need that for the bigger stations where potentially in the time it takes for a train to get to them, they can fill it all the way up again. Um, might be better in that case to have those stations have multiple outputs. So if you're smelting so fast that you can smelt more than a train load and time takes a train to get there, then have enough stations so that requesting one train into each station gets stuff to you in time. So this is now requesting. Well, it thinks it is. Actually, I think that's just lit up because there's a light there. We're going to pull that together. Now that should be showing me something. Um, we don't have a priority schema yet, so we need a priority schema for LDS. So resource ID is going to be, this is a simple one, so LDS. So there's the resource and there's the ID. And we are going to select the stations from which we are requesting. So we're requesting empty guys. 
and the uh, the automatic thing that's going to be used to the, the weight condition that will be placed in the schedule. So we're, LTN will create a schedule when you know to grab something you know, for somebody in an empty empty station to come here. And we want his schedule to say leave when I am full. Okay. And I'm going to turn off inactivity. So if they sit there for a while and no more getting added, but he's not full, then he'll just sit there. So that's the resource priority LDS LDS. Now the station is different. The station is going to enable when where to go when the number of trains on the way is less than P. The uh, mod author uses P, so I'm just going to use P. And I'm going to request from the same ID. Oh, well, that's easy enough. And I'm going to hit, well, I will hit hide here later once we get things going. But this will now show up as a outstanding request. And actually, these are empty trains, not LTN trains. So there's a problem here. Um, I'm going to be requesting empty trains of various sorts. <sighs> so I just made a big mistake by, by setting up a priority schema early and not having it be right. Uh, I don't think, can I do that? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Let's use low density structure and I will give it a different ID. This means I, I can't use the simplest form of things. Um, I know that if you do the same thing in both places, some things will get easier. But I'm gonna do that and a empty cargo wagon. Uh, is there a, just a generic empty Got empty cargo wagons for these resources, but not for things like what I'm doing here. Let's put cargo wagon there. And this guy, we're going to say priority schema is we're requesting from LDS. Uh, cargo wagon. There. Um, I'm confused. No, that's right. I rewound and started over, so I do need to do this. So this comes from empty and what gets added is full with no inactivity or anything there we go so there's our new priority thing and here's our priority thing <clears throat> and you notice I am requesting at this point uh, I do not know why this is not showing up with a usually shows an M something or other. Maybe it, it hasn't gotten a train yet, so it, it doesn't know that yet. So now we have this train here, which was headed out to get something. <laughs> and we told it, no, no, no. We need to get some more parking here because we may have several trains build up before we get things set up properly. Oh, and we did. Okay. So now I'm going to go do the other one over here. Now it's going to look a lot the same. 
So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Let's not copy the train stop name. I'll, I'll fix that on my own. There's that. Uh, interesting. So, yeah, uh, there's that. Let's try doing everything but the train stop. I will put this stuff in manually. Apparently, I cannot do what I was trying to do. Okay. Well, that's got all the logic. All the logic. And this is a requester here, and a train requester here. And hook it up, and I want the same. Oh, give a name. This is going to be. And then we copy the train requester logic. You know, his connection is trains on the way less than P. Same thing. If we go over here, we can see that we indeed are, both these guys are requesting trains, which they would get from the empty train area. Now, I am going to repurpose these guys. I'm going to start them at the top. So his schedule is... is going to empty and waiting on certain condition, nothing, and then full, uh, ready, and waiting on certain condition, nothing. And I'm going to give him a little bit of fuel. Let's get those colored. Now, if I do this right, the moment I say go to empty, yep, he's going to go pick some stuff up at O2. Now, I should have built a prototype train and had it on hand. That filled fast, and now he rolls out to the depot. So he's now ready. And let's put an appropriate color on those guys. So our prototype train let's put him here. Okay. So that top train is now our prototype. And he's just like that. And I hope we didn't just mess up O2 by doing that. going to be using bots to build this guy, I'll do that. Now we come from here.
Okay, so these are being pulled. So once a train clears the station, it pulls another one. I'm, I'm willing to, to accept that for these guys. Being able to request two trains in would be a good thing. And we need a total of six trains. Now I can get rid of the prototype. And the extra parking line. I could have just done him in any of the usual parking lines. So now all these trains are full and they're ready to go. And the trick is that at the other end, we do not have requester stations that are requesting these. So now I need to find all the places that want it and put in proper requester stations. So this guy will need a train. Um, these all get merged. So his logic is going to be well. First of all, requester stations. Uh, if I dump that in, now we have. I'll just keep the requester names as they are because that's. They just have to be unique. Um, these guys do not need fuel. Where did my... Uh, okay. So, I'm going to request if everything is less than a train load. And a train load here is 400. So actually, if let's 800, then I'm going to P. And this guy says, well, I do need to create a priority. And here I will use the simple form Now, when we pull, a, we pull a train from this priority from a ready station, the condition that we will give him is uh, to wait until we are empty or we have inactivity. No, just empty. So this will hang out here until he's completely emptied. Not, you know, not worrying about, oh, if we, if we. Uh, don't output anything for a while. We want to clear the train out of the station. We, we don't need to do that. He can sit there in the station. Now, in theory, if we're not overstuffing these boxes, we should be okay. But we may be overstuffing because these may not be able to hold two trains worth. Okay, so now this station is... LDS, LDS, and notice here it gives a list of the stations. That's who I am. And the enable is uh, number of trains coming is less than P. Hey, it it requested one immediately and we got it and now it's opening it up.
So these trains actually have 400 by 4, 1600. So if we get this full, I'll see how many there are and leash it back a little bit. I could do a little bit better math and have it request two trains when there's space for two. And we might benefit from it in this case, um, although we are offloading quite quickly. So it looks like 480 per box. So let's request a train when we get below 800. So normally, if we're below 800, we should probably be able to dump a train and have it empty itself out and go away. Uh, I'm going to send this onward. Now the outstanding requests, I'm going to, I'm going to mark these as, as hidden. So you notice we have all these trains filled up and ready to go. Normally we will have all of our trains sitting here full. Uh, I should have started out with just a couple of trains and added more trains as we need them. But I think we need six total for everything we're going to do here. So we can hide that. and hide that. So now you see we have zero outstanding requests f that we care about. So I'm gonna go back on pause. Well, I do what I did over here with this request, I'm gonna do that everywhere else where we are requesting LDSs. A little side note here. When a, state, when a train is being requested, it shows the M, saying it's in, pre, in process, and it shows the icon of what it is it's looking for. You see that on the right as well, under the minimap. So we still we see that we are still requesting, we have one train scheduled for us, and he is carrying LDSs. If we wanted, we could use a single station for multiple things, and that would let us know what's on the way. have LDS over here. This guy is so slow that he hasn't cycled through yet. So this is the, the satellite. Uh, it will take him a long time to finish consuming all of these trains. So my best guess at what we should do here is to just kill off this and put in the requester station. Oh, come on. Uh, sh 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 low density structures, get rid of them. Kill them, kill them now. Requester station. Train requester. Oh, that's going to be tricky to get my mouse over. Now this we're going to want to do based on the logistics we cannot talk directly to logistics here, but we can tap from here. So 
that tells us how much is in the network. And this is going to say if the number of low density structures in the network is less than 800, then set P to 1. this is going to be same thing so LDS LDS and enabled when trains on the way is less than P blinks and we have one incoming Why did this stop unloading? Well, this guy is full. I've got 1.6k. Just send him on his way. Oh, the robots do not unload evenly. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're only going to request a train when we have less than 100 of these left. Allow one train load at each of these. Actually, let's. Well, yeah. Let it fill. I want to call the train when his train load can fit, so. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So, uh, when we have less than 80. The other way we could do this would be to duplicate these guys. See, and now we could say less than 400. So even if all 400 were in a box, we could still unload the whole train. So now we're up to 1.5k. We should not be requesting now. So LDSs are used in the satellite, and they're used in the space science. Uh, what else do we have here in stations? Uh, low density structures. We've got empties. We have for satellite, for science, uh, white science, yellow science. So white and yellow science are the only ones that really need it. So that looks good. 
So that's our conversion. And I will convert other ones offline. End of recording.